All right, y'all. Rob Anderson with Clean Power Wash. Um, so it's been a minute. Want to do a little check-in, and from what I've been hearing across um, at least our area, um, some people worried, kind of um, freaking out and stuff about summer slowdown. Um, so uh, I would tell you a couple things. One, uh, if you're really new in the business, um, get used to it slowing down some in the summer. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, I'm going to say that it's very easy, not easy, uh, but it's way easier for somebody to start and run a business power washing um, March, April, May and think, yeah, man, I'm crushing it. We're doing so great. This is so easy. Um, and then what happens is you get to June, July, August, and you start panicking, or at least if you're in a, in a you know, warm weather environment. Some, some may be pushed a couple months later than that. Uh, but for us in Maryland, um, and I would say a good bit of the southeast and some of the northeast, that, that's a fairly um, traditional time period for things to get busy and then slow down. Um, I've posted it before, and I'm not going to show you in this video. Um, but that dip that you have typically in the summer. Now, since we added Christmas lights, that's dramatically changed. Um, the shift of where we would have it, but we would have our peak in April, May. Those would typically be our biggest months. Um, and then June, depending on commercial and depending on how busy our May was and how booked out we could get, um, June would be a pretty solid month as well. And then we would, we'd have that slowdown. July was usually time to kind of catch your breath, kind of figure out what's going on, um, cut cut loose a little bit of slack, um, you know, in your crews, if you got multiple crews, figuring out which guys, you know, hey, you put up with them through that because you needed the bodies and now you just don't. And so that's also a nice time where we've done it, where we've gone from five days a week working to four days. Right now we're back on five days. Um, and that's just something, you know, I, I know some companies that say, hey, July and August, you can take as much vacation time as you want. April, May, June. No, because we're so busy. Um, but what's really saving us right now, um, and it's, it's kind of interesting. we got a, a large scale commercial project, um, over 50 grand, uh, biggest project we've ever done. Um, and it's, it slowed down my marketing specifically because I knew we were going to, or not new. I, I knew that if we got this, we needed to not be booked up with other stuff so that we could, you know, handle that in an appropriate time frame. Um, so it is normal, absolutely, to slow down in July and August and September. We've been fortunate. We've got another commercial project that we do now every September and March. Um, and so that gives us a big boost in time periods where we're slow. Um, and so I would really encourage you guys and gals, um, as you're growing your businesses, you have to be taking care of taking care of residential, but also work that commercial pipeline. You have to build that. You have to lay that foundation of, you know, doing that emergency cleanup for that commercial property manager um, sometime when it wasn't convenient for you because that's that opportunity to get in there. You know, you'd always, you don't always want to stay the, the, you know, the, the second place or the backup to their main provider. But if you can get a lot of companies that are happy with so-and-so, you know, whatever XYZ power wash and say, Hey, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I know you guys work with so-and-so all the time. If there's ever an opportunity where they can't take care of you, please let us know. We'd love that opportunity to help you out wherever we can. Or if there's some smaller products they don't want to deal with, we'd love the opportunity. Go in, do a great job, earn the business. This particular project is because, um, not because of, but by a Facebook ad, we got in touch with a property manager who then sent us a ton of work, who then has sent us other property managers at their location who have also sent us a lot of work. Um, and in bidding this university project, um, needed references. We've done a couple of dorm buildings for another university. We've done a lot of work for this particular property management company. Um, I think we're north of $200,000 for the work that we've done for them, maybe more. Um, and so that laid that foundation so that we could confidently give this bid. Um, I was really excited too. We were within 
three grand on this bid with the second place company. You know, I, I don't want to find out that the second place company was fifteen thousand dollars more than us. That's not good. I want to find it. I want to find it's kind of close and that we win, um, so that we're not missing out on a ton of money there. But um, would encourage you guys. I mean, so what do you do if you're slow right now and you don't have the time to have built up that commercial pipeline? Number one, go back and literally respond to every single unclosed estimate that you did the last three or four months. Um, just reach out to them. First of all, just call them. Say, hey. Um, uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, we gave you an estimate. You hadn't responded yet or, or want to see if you still needed to get the work done. Oh, yeah, man, it's been crazy. Or, no, man, we got that done three months ago. Um, that's a quick way to go ahead and get some work. Sending out a text blast, sending out a, uh, you know, uh, a slide broadcast or voicemail bomb to, to your previous clients. Send out an email. You don't even necessarily need to do a special like, hey, it's hot. It's summer. It's summer. Your house is hot. Cool it off with a house wash. You can send my check in the mail. Um, but those are great opportunities to bring back some additional work, um, get you some stuff. And, and I always find that the slower you are, the slower you're going to stay. If you can get that just spark going, go ahead and book. And it may be two grand of work for you. It may be five, maybe 15, maybe 20 grand worth of work. That then sets you up to be able to grow, uh, to, to add another bunch of work because people are seeing you out doing work and then you're doing stuff. Um, go through neighborhoods that you've done work for in the past. Uh, go th just go drive. Um, look for the people that you've serviced in the past and is their house dirty? Yes, it's dirty. Let's get it taken care of. Okay. Um, so those are a couple of just quick ways for you to go ahead and get some work going in July and August. Um, you can certainly run a special. I typically would run something in August because we need that just to get to Christmas light season. We need a little bit more work there. Uh, and then certainly, again, getting into Christmas lights, the busier you are. Um, again, we have that commercial one in September, which will be probably about 40 grand worth of uh, power washing. And then we start our Christmas lights like crazy, usually between the second and third week of September. And then it's off to the races. So, um, See, too, when you're talking to property managers, to be up front. I mean, we have a resort town that, you know, we would love to do as much commercial work in there from December through April. And so for bidding projects, you know, hey, can we do it during this time period? Or if you've got a situation where, like, for universities and school systems, the summer is going to be the best possible time. So, like, hey, we can't take care of you in May. Um, can we actually move that to, like, the second of second week of July? Um, you're also going to find too that so it's typically a lot slower. Um, oh man, um, sorry, bad text. Um, but it is normal to slow down around the Fourth of July. And this past year, Fourth of July was on a Tuesday, so it felt like the Fourth of July was celebrated for like an entire week. Um, so that certainly impacted the amount of people that were calling, requesting estimates, and whatnot. So. Anyways, hope that helps you guys. Um, and also, now knowing that you may slow down, store up some of that money that you're making April, May, and June um, so that you can weather that storm um, to, so you can take a little bit of rest and re relaxation. So, see ya.